One thing you'll want to know about Delmody is it's nothing but banks and churches of all types. Just look around you, nothing. This spot used to be like um, a travel passageway and the lady would scream at us for going through her yard. So I guess they called her the bitch. And then the spot became the bitch. The spray paint's still there, but it's very faded. Old dogs die hard. Nice, perfect. It's a flagship for future generations to come. The bitch is watching right now. Yeah, at one point the the Dunwoody Chronicle, like the newspaper, was that was Crier. Yeah, Dunwoody Crier. They um, said there was over a million dollars worth of vandalization done in, within two years. And I won't take credit for all of it, but we did do a I'll lot. I'll take credit for most of it. Yeah. <laughs> it was really easy to want to smash everything here this because it sucks. It's, it's, this place really sucks. A lot of stuff has changed since we were kids. So. Yeah, none of this was here. This was like, I think, a water utility center from the 30s. There was a giant vat of green sewage that was stagnant. It was like gelatin congealed. It's fucking gross. They don't even look the same. No, not at all. This sucks. Go, go, go. Oh, they took all the shit out. It used to be scary walking through this area. We get like 20 kids back here, like some kids would be tripping on Robitussin, other kids would be drinking, other kids would be gathering wood, keeping the fire going. We suspected that there was police helicopters looking at us because there was helicopters like hovering. We'd go and run, hide under any of these buildings. It's kind of like, not sure if this was our, our turf or whatever, but we were coming all the way from Dunwoody to here to hang out. And we'd run into other kids, we'd organize a rumble here once, but if the other people didn't show up, we were rolling like 40 deep that time. The last time I was here, I saw like a midget walking down the tracks. He had like a club foot and he like he looked really sad. He's just walking like down the tracks like this. Very odd. But yeah, it used to be the spot to be. And they started developing all these houses and it just became too, too difficult to come back here. And I think we probably found some better spots too. Like bars once we turn 21. <laughs> yeah, bars. Everyone from high school would just come over here. We had like 24 kids in this parking lot. It's a great, this is like before everyone had like cell phones, and there was that payphone over there where people could call. But this is the place to organize and figure out what you're gonna do for the rest of the night. Because we'd eventually get kicked out of here for <laughs> hanging around for like three hours. We used to go through the trash cans and we ended up wanting for some french fries. This is Coach Bass from our high school. And he was in the arts, he had a film festival that I actually won one year. And he also had a talent show. And the Black Oats played one of our first shows at the talent show that he set up. It was called The Variety Show. We were the house band. Oh, there's the animal clinic. People used to rob that to get cat tranquilizer and turn it into ketamine. I had this girlfriend worked at the pet store about a mile over there. And we used to, uh, she had the keys and we'd go in at night and take, get the cat tranquilizer and the, the dog painkillers. And one time we got really fucked up in there and we, we we had sex in a dog cage. It's kind of cool. Abe Lincoln looks like he has Down syndrome. <laughs> We're really bad. I hope I hope they can't use this against us. In the world. No, there's a statue, statue of limitation. Progress. Is this what it looks like? 